Hey, what time are you New up here. Today I'm going to do something a little different. Um, it is around Slap by New, but it's going to be a behind the scenes kind of thing. Uh, so what you're seeing here is just me creating uh, Slap by New 35. Uh, I did this one in Camtasia because I was having problems actually recording Sony Vegas. Um, so I just I loaded up all my project media into that and I started working on it. Anyway, so it's all sped up just so you have something in the background to watch uh, while I ramble on if you're interested in actually seeing you know, what I'm doing. Uh, it's, it's very basic compared to mo most of the things that I do, but well, actually all the things I do are pretty basic, so I'd say it's uh, still on par. And it came out alright, so I was very happy with it. Um, so today I'm just doing this video because Starspawn asked a very important question. Uh, I recently did a Q&A for reaching 500 videos on my channel, and I have to say I loved answering them, uh, it was it was something different to do and I really enjoyed it. Uh, and some of the questions I got were funny, well, some were a lot funnier than the others, but I, I tried to put like a little spin on it as much as I could. Um, but anyway, sorry, Starspawn asked the very simple question of, would I do 500 episodes of Slap by a Noob? And the answer I gave him was yes, definitely, I would love to do 500 Slap by Noobs. But the only thing is, I have to answer that question more in depth here in this video. Um, so basically, those of you who don't know what Slap by Noob is, if you're new here or you've just ignored that entire series for some weird reason, um, it's basically an outplayed series uh, that I started, but I made it unique by giving it a theme song and I've kind of developed it over time. Uh, it, it used to start with just the theme song and then I started working with the clips to get them in, you know, kind of in time with the music, just to, you know, give it a nice flow. Uh, then I believe I started adding like a few sound effects here and there um, But then I really started putting my personality into it to make it really unique uh, By adding in you know text and memes and you know just reactions to clips we weird little things just so it's not another You know, oh, it's another outplayed episode like it. Oh, it's just gonna be wall bouncing It's just gonna be walking around with people. I try to give it life basically I, I pour my personality into it to make it more unique and interesting for people to sit down and watch because I ba basically what happened with it was it just it kind of spitballed like the music it was it, the music is just catchy with it it goes with it and I just I was dead set on making that my theme song so I made that the theme song for the entire thing that was meant to be just a once off use but it was really catchy and I loved it so I kept it going uh, and then it just kind of spitballed and it got better and better and better and people loved it to bits and I kept thinking, how can I improve this? How can I make this series more enjoyable for people? And what I started doing, of course, was adding in my personality to it. And at the start, I was very skeptical about it. I, I, I was very worried that I was going to ruin it uh, by putting my personality into it. I thought, you know, if I put this text in here, like, I can't really keep it up there for too long. It'll it'll distract people. And then like that, it's, I started kind of like, having conversations like the character talking uh, throughout the clip or you know a narrator kind of standpoint on it and I felt like oh people won't get the jokes that, that because you know that they, they won't get my personality or you know they just won't get the jokes they won't read it in time or something and you know they won't be bothered going back in the video and you know they'll just ignore us they'll think like oh this is crap uh, so I was really worried about that and then on top of that a lot of the jokes um, are kind of in jokes between myself and Tonk, like a, um, okay, sorry. In Slap by Noob Thirty Five, um, Arnold Schwarzenegger makes an appearance. Um, when I when I get bodied at the pause in the song, anyone who knows the song will know what I'm talking about. And anyone who watched the episode will know what I'm talking about. And that's an in joke between myself and Tonk, uh, to to do with uh, another YouTuber, Tio and Siege. Um, so it's it's just it's a little in joke between us that we really loved and think it's hilarious. So I put that in, um, and see le this leads me on to the main topic of why Slap by a Noob is impossible to mass produce. So over over time, I've only produced thirty five of these things, thirty five, and I think only about fifteen to eighteen of them are what we see nowadays. And to be quite honest, it's it's hard to do it because basically with with the way Slap by Noob is now with like my personality, me putting in jokes and everything, I have to give it time after an episode to 
basically grow or change as a person for a few weeks or maybe even a month or two before I can make another episode. Now why do I do this? It's because if I was to sit down and make five slap by noobs in a day, they would all more or less be the same. The humor would be the same and it'd, just, it'd be boring. Whereas if I waited a while, I'll have new jokes, new knowledge, or you know, new, new inside jokes, new a different look at it, and you know, you'll get something different. It's what I see. The series is very unique, and I want to keep it unique. So I won't ever sit down and create two of these in one day. I I'll never do that. I'll never create them in the same week at all. I would feel absolutely awful if I ended up doing that because I feel like it'll take. A lot away from the episodes if it's all just you know the same humor same jokes you've seen one you don't really have to see the rest so I try to keep them all different and unique so people will actually look forward to seeing the next one and it's difficult to do because like I said you have to wait time see you have you have to wait for you know a change like I don't know when it happens I just decide like one day it's like it's been a good while since I've seen Slap by a Noob. And I'll go back, I'll probably rewatch the last one I did, and I'll be like, oh, fuck yeah, I'm gonna go make another one. And I'll sit down and I'll make another one. Or like that, or maybe I'll even just listen to music, I won't even look at the video. It's just, once I, get, once I get the music stuck in my head, I just, I have to go off and, I have to go off and do something with it. So even if I do only put in like two clips in that day, like, you know, that that's still something, that's some progress to it. And that's what I do do as well. <laughs> do do. Um, but that's what I do as well sometimes is I'll get this idea for a clip and like the, I, I have hundreds of clips all saved up in a folder uh, to use and then I still have loads from Ultimate Edition that I have to get around to using and I, I will slowly but surely build an episode. Now with this ep episode that I made I sat down and I recorded each session that I did with it. Um, I, I think I sat down over several days. I think I think it was four days that I sat down and made it. Um, a few clips a day um, and they got the job done but like that it was it, it takes time to make and sometimes I can get an episode out in a day like if I have maybe five hours to spare I'll sit down and I will sit down and work on slap by a noob if that's what I'm going to be aiming to make or produce that week um, if not then like that it can take a lot longer uh, I think the shortest episode I ever made uh, with what we have now, um, I think it took me about four and a half hours, and then the longest was over the course of maybe a week, a little bit more. I'm not too sure. I can't remember. Um, and see, the main thing about this series is the uniqueness, and I am so proud of it. I am so proud of it because loads and loads of people come along and they say like, you know, they love the series, they love the music, they love, you know, just the little bits that I add in, the little details and everything. And I can guarantee you, there's a lot of little details in the videos that you'll overlook because they're really small. Like it might be just the addition of like, you know, a meme in the background or something, or, uh, you know, the text will draw your eyes off something else or something will appear on the screen for like a, a second or two. Um, there are a, a lot of little small things and details like that, but I'm really proud of them. And when I sit down, I, I, lo I look at it. I play the music and I try to get a feel of what the music is. So first of all, I try to work on like the flow of the clips. So, you know, at the start when it's building up, it tends to be slower clips. And then once it kicks off, you kind of have the more frantic, frantic clips. And sometimes the flow works really well. And then sometimes I have to disregard the flow and work with the humor. And either way works for me. I love it when a clip goes with the music and the humor is just perfect in it. Um, I absolutely adore that uh, the most, more than anything else. Uh, but obviously that doesn't always work. So I obviously have to make some changes on the fly. And sometimes I'll even load up uh, a project and I'll say, you know, this clip, like, I, I remember this clip. Like, I, I don't know how I just, I remember all these L plays that I've hit and I'll load up this clip. I'll drop it into the project and we'll, I'm gonna sit there and say, this is, being in, this is being in the video and it's gonna go at this point. I know exactly what I'm gonna do with it. And I build the entire episode around that one clip, trying to fit it into that one space. I remember, uh, I'm not sure which episode it was, I think it was 27, I had this one clip and I really wanted it in this specific part of the song because it went well with the music. But by the time I built up to that, uh, I had 12 seconds to go um, before that clip could roll and 
I found myself in a position of trying to fill up 12 seconds and the clips that I imported none of them worked like I think I went through 20 clips or so uh, before I settled on one and then even though I was dropping them all in and I edited all these clips um, to see if they worked and none of them were working the way I wanted to until I finally found one and I, I said like oh no, no this is gonna work and I tried three or four different variations of the clip and then eventually it fit I was so happy with it um, and like that I went on rendered the video and everything and then I realized like no, no 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 I can move this clip over to here and it'll go a lot better while this clip will go better here and this one will go at the start so I'd have to re-edit it move it uh, move the three clips around and then re-render it, sit down, watch it again and then I might notice something else that's just off or something, something that I'm not personally happy with because Slap by Noob I I love this series to bits and you guys love it and I'm just, I'm just really so proud of this damn thing like, it's the only thing unique about my channel is this series and I want to do it justice sometimes when I do sit down and make these I sit around and I'm like oh no, I'm, I'm not going to do this episode justice it, it's going to come out you know just like another one and you know it's like, how can I improve it how can I how can I make this series better and there's always a way to do it but sometimes I feel really discouraged from doing it because I can't think of anything on the spot I can't think of anything immediate to make this episode better or different from the others you know and and I put a lot of stress on myself with this because of how unique I want this series to stay and feel for everyone and for every episode as well. Like recently I, um, I've i been thinking to myself, I might sit down and binge watch all 35 episodes of my Slap by a Noob and just, you know, in the, just enjoy it. Sit down and watch how it evolved. I did it ages ago, a long time ago. I sat down, I think I only had about like 27 up at the time um, to sit down and watch it evolve. And I can't help but smile to myself at how far the series has come. Uh, in it in its little lifespan well little lifespan it's been it's been around for a while but it, it has come so far and if you guys honestly have the time to sit down and just want like you know a catchy little song going in the background I'd recommend sitting down and watching Slap by a Noob even just listening to it like, I'm I'm not I'm not trying to promote myself here all I'm trying to say is the music is really good it's a nice catchy little thing and even then you might even find yourself actually interested in what's going on and if if you do sit down and watch every episode and fucking props to you but it, it's a tough thing to do especially when there's 35 of them so like that if you you take you know i say average top run times four minutes multiply that by 30 so you've got two hours to sit down and watch that's a long time i mean like you know but uh, see like that it's just it takes time to make them and as much as much as i wish i could mass produce them i can't because i want them to all stay unique and as much as I would love to go off and put down 500 episodes of this, I feel like it's going to take me a lot longer to make it than anything else. Or, ah, uh, see, see, and it's really hard to tell, you know, how just how long it'll take me to make an episode or, you know, how long it'll even take to, you know, for my personality to shift, to change a little bit, uh, to give it something unique. And to be honest... I'd love it if I had other people collaborating me, collaborating with me on it. But I, I since this this series is just so goddamn unique to me, so special, and I love it a bit. I don't want to go off and collaborate with other people on it. Well, like I don't mind like doing a slap by new people, but you know, kind kind of like sitting down and working with them, and they'll say, "Oh, why don't we put this clip here?" And I'll be sitting there like, "No, we're not doing that. that that's stupid. No, that's a bad idea." Um, I'm just I'm very selfish with it, and I don't want to share it with anyone uh, to go off and make one because I, I feel like it's just I it's my it's my little baby and I want to keep it nice and safe and you know I I just cherish the series too much to see anything bad happen to it I don't want it to become you know a very average kind of thing I want to keep it unique upbeat um, and just I, I love it because loads of people always get excited for it and everything and even then like the comments as well like people just enjoying the shit out of it or like that they'll say like oh i forgot all about this song and everything you know now it's stuck on my head it, it's just it's such it, it's just a wonderful thing to see um to hear to read like a lot of people have said to me and to be honest without you guys the series wouldn't be where it is um 
So I have to thank you for giving me the encouragement to actually, you know, improve this series. And hopefully I'll keep on improving on it. But like I said, today it was just something different. Something kind of like behind the scenes for Slap by a Noob. Like that. A lot of people love it. I love it to bits. Like I, I would probably say I cherish this series more than you guys. I... I am unbelievably proud of this. I feel like this is what it would be like to be a parent to watch your child walk for the first time. You're just unbelievably proud of something. And even then, I'm sure someone out there could do this a lot better than me. But I am proud of what I've done with it. And hopefully, I'll keep improving on that. And, you know, just keep making the series better and better over time. And improve it. Just improve it in every way that I can. I want it to be the best that it can be and the most unique uh, that I can make it. Because like I said, I've never heard of anyone ever having a theme song for their outplays or having, you know, memes and everything put into it. Like, that's kind of more funny moments kind of thing. Um, like I'm sure other people have done it. But for me, just having it being... Just, just having the episode being what it is makes me really happy, especially when it's unique and it's well-received by you guys. So I think that's my little rant over. Overall, I am more than happy to sit down and do 500 episodes of Slap by New, but you're going to be waiting one out long ass motherfucking time for it. Dear Christ, that'll take a long time. I mean, it's taken me like three years to do 35 of them. Like, how long it'll take me to do 500? If anyone does the maths, fucking well done to you. I'm not bothered doing the maths because I know I got my uh, my amount of time the playlist runs wrong. Um, <laughs> oh, I'm, very, I'm very bad at maths. I'm very sorry. Um, anyway, guys. Thank you very much for watching this video if you stuck around to this point. You must be really interested in Slap by Noob, so I commemorate you. Congratulations, here's a little clap. Yep. Woohoo, go us. Imagine the streamers and shit going off. Uh, everyone's congratulating you, you know, you're getting a standing ovation. Uh, I, I always hate doing really, really long videos. I feel like, you know, it's wasting, uh, wait, wasting too much of somebody's time. Um, anyway, if you really enjoyed the series, then fucking, I'm so happy that you do and hopefully I will keep entertaining you with uh, the random bullshit that I put in. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you liked it, consider enlisting yourselves in the Nooblets, and hopefully I'll see you all in the next video, alright? Toodles. Drop it.